Hello everyone. Welcome to your lecture on sex and gender. This lecture is a part of your paper on gender, media and society. This lecture will help you to understand the difference among the concepts of sex and gender. We will now discuss how gender is culturally constructed through different socialization processes sexuality physical susceptibility and procreative path of women are cited as legitimate reasons behind justifying the home as their appropriate place thus limiting their rightful access to the public sphere which come to be dominated by men these separations of spheres have been considered as a major reason behind women subordinate status in the society rosaldo 1974 proposes that women's position would rather be the lower most where the flawless split is there among the public and the private place and where women are secluded from each other spain 1993 is of opinion that though status of women is an outcome of the accumulation of a diversity of factors being ethnic spiritual and socio financial the physical parting of men and women further perpetuates gender stratification by relegating women to inside space as macdowell and sharp 1997 stated special relation act to socialize people into the acceptance of gendered power relation they reinforce power privileges and oppression and literally keep women in their place cited in dilworth and trevnan 2004 1896 what are the differences between man and women are these differences amenable to change the response to these queries lie in an apprehension of the notion of gender and sex Simon de Beauvoir in one of her seminal work The Second Sex 1949 said that one is not born rather becomes a woman This formulation immediately differentiates between sex and gender reflecting that gender is a characteristics of identity that is progressively acquired The variances among man and woman are essentialized around their biologies that is their sexual differences across all cultures the females more all embracing and orders procreative role and the males condensing size are the biological realms of demarcating distinctively different spheres of men and women in the society cultural definition of women portrays her as embodying the other the private the home emotionality nature and dependence in india as in many other parts women are largely associated with the interior the home and family where men belong to the outside in the public spaces where economic and political power are transacted which in its turn entitles them not only to far better access to resources but also to empowering information further moving on to sex sex denotes to the to the organic behavior conveyed to sociologic anatomy hormones and genes etc The principles for categorizing sex are either born with genitalia at birth or chromosomal 
composition before birth although it is important to remember that these do not necessarily conform with each other since the inception of the discourse on sex only two socially legitimate sexual identities were male and female however at present our knowledge and understanding of sex has come a long way as we have come to appreciate other sexual identities as well sex is now conceptualized in more than binary terms sexual variance leads to alteration in body form and mass metabolism hormonal and biochemical and hormonal outlines muscles and fat delivery functioning of organs and structure of brain amongst other variants these alterations have reflective effects on state of health although most often sex is understood to be an invariant aspect of male and female body some researchers have contended that even sex is constructed on the basis of society in a manner that purpose of sex is done over the presentation of socially settled upon biological measures for categorizing people as women or men west and zimmerman 1987 being socially constructed sex similar to gender is also subject to change over time for example The intersex movement in recent years advocates that assessing the sex of babies at birth by visual assessment of genitals is insufficient for those who procre for those whose procreative or sexual composition is neither visible on is neither visibly male or distinctively female. Another issue that needs to be flagged here is that the way we identify and understand the grouping man women intersex and further are not biologically intrinsic but comparative to space and phase johnson and repta 2012 sex is only conceptualized differently across different cultures but such conceptualizations are also changing with time as biological dissimilarity is revealed and quantity methods are polished as mentioned above in order to understand sex as a socially produced and culturally rooted part of identity one needs to appreciate the concept of sex category according to sex and zimmerman 1987 placement in a sex category is achieved through application of the sex criteria but in everyday life categorizing is established and sustained by the socially required identificatory display that proclaim one's membership in one or the other category an individual sex group which is externally discernible acts as a proxy for an individual sex in many instances of life although sex classification and sex may vary autonomously many individual may dress and behave like a woman sex category without having the necessary category of being biologically female sex gender similar to sex gender is a complex con- concept that denotes to the dissimilar parts accountabilities boundaries and encounters delivered to individuals 
gender is built on the edifice of biological sex and categorize individuals as male female hermaphrodite and hijra uh, amongst other founded on sexual variance these categories are socially constructed therefore like sex notion around gender are also ethnically and provisionally precise and subject to modification west and zimmerman 1987 observe that the analytical concepts of sex categorization of sex and gender should be exactly understood for understanding how gendered characteristics are produced through the interaction of these three concepts the labeling of individuals into classifications such as girl or boy or woman or man is a cultural process which is not based on any definite set of standards that must be openly contended earlier to conforming membership to a particular gender category conforming membership to a particular gender category Rel relatively the submission of association categories depend on an if can trial in daily communication it is extremely pertinent to understand how the process of gendering operates in the society that is how people are produced as appropriate men and women through a range of social injunctions following are the approaches endangering process operates in our society approaches to conceptualizing gender institutionalized gender in almost all societies across the world men are accorded with much higher status compared to women and given greater power opportunities as well as access to resources and public life institutions such as educational medical political social as well as media and religion play an important role in shaping such hierarchical gender identities institutionalized gender denotes to the means in which gender is ingrained in and articulated via these enormous social structures through the diverse rejoinders standards prospects parts reliabilities specified to individuals and groups as per gender johnson 2007 it also interacts with other makers of social identities such as race class sexual identity etc to further systematically arrange individuals into hierarchies of privilege now gender as a constrained choice gender is enacted by individuals through their everyday transaction in life in doing so they either consciously or unconsciously take on identities and roles that are socially legitimate and appropriate with respect to their sex categories however such procedure of compelling on gender is refined and calculated assignment which merely becomes palpable through critical reflection about self and others as pointed out by butler becoming a gender is an impulsive yet mindful process of interpreting a cultural reality laden with sanction taboos and and prescriptions the choice to assume a certain kind of body to live or wear one's body a certain way implies a world of already established co uh, corporeal styles to choose a gender is to interpret received gender norms in a way that organizes them a new
rather than a radical action of conception, gender is an implicit assignment to restart one's traditional antiquity in one's personal terms. Thus, gender is chosen, produced and reproduced by individuals. However, it must be remembered that such choice is not freely available to everyone and in fact can be quite constraining in many ways. People's choice in the context of gender identities are mediated by biology. For instance, those who inwardly identify themselves more as women may be forced to take on the identity of men in order to conform to the so social norms of legitimate gender identities that say their sex categories trust them into. Thus, scholars have argued that those located in marginalized power position are often choice disabled, that is, they are unable to make informed choices due to the gross inequalities of power and norms of social legitimacy. Viewing gender as a constrained choice enables us to address the countless restriction we encounter at different stages. Singular, family, society, community and recognizing that choices are restricted by these underlining and interconnecting constrictions. Johnson and Repta 2012. Further moving on to gender roles, society accords distinctly different tasks and jobs to men and women on the basis of their perceived gender categories. Women as nurturant, caring, emotional and men as aggressive, risk-taking, rational etc. These jobs and tasks are called gender roles which vary across cultures and location and change over time. Gender paths construct the numerous roles that persons play during the course of their existing influencing features of everyday life from selections of apparel to professions. Johnson and Repta 2012 roles of gender or learned social behavior that men and women come to accept these inflexible and natural to the extent that they often fail to question such stereotypical gender roles no matter how exploitative these may be. Traditional gender roles play the most crucial role in social organization. For this reason, individuals unknowingly internalize these stereotypes irrespective of their particular chosen gender. Now gender identity. Gender identity is a form of social identity. It is an expression of how people view themselves as well as how others view them with respect to gender. Gender identities are developed in compliance to the societal norms of correct and corresponding gender. In the event of non-confrontation, individuals are susceptible to being subjected to various forms of violence as in Vital 2006. Accordingly, even in the interiors of societies where diverse and flowing gender appearance are further acknowledged. Scholars point out that when an individual gender is undecided, it evokes considerable unease because human beings tend to constantly try to recognize and categorize individual as per dyadic model of gender. Individuals therefore internalize features of institutionalized gender and gender paths and confer their own gender identity as male or female. 
Johnson and Repta 2012. Masculinity not only relates to the male body but also encapsulates a range of behavior, practice and characteristics such as rational, bold, strength, aggression, courage, independence, virility, etc. Similarly, femininity is connected with womanliness. It is not innate, tagged to any specific form and as a substitute is built and replicated through a person performs and actions in their daily lives. Gender relation. Gender functions comparatively by swaying our anticipations and apprehensions of others and the methods in which we recount to interrelate with them. These refer to the manner in which the relationships between men and women are influenced by gendered understandings which in turn can't restrict opportunities for the woman while providing expanding spaces for men. Gender as performance, embodied gender. Judith Butler, 1988 and 2004. In her groundbreaking work, recognized gender as an accomplished and as exhibited in the conduct that individuals style up their figures and carry themselves and upon how they express and proceed. Furthermore, as Leon's 2009 explains through arrangement in these actions or perform gender becomes answerable and evaluated by others and characteristics of gendered distinctiveness becomes permissible. Consequently, gender is personified, West and Zimmerman, 1987-2009, refer to the knowledge of gender presentation and highlight gender is consciously and unconsciously produced in all social interfaces and relationships. Summing up this lecture, we learned that gender and sexual identities are often used interchangeable in literature. However, these two are conceptually dissimilar because people having a particular sexual identity, example lesbian, can display a range of gender identities. Societal stereotypes about the binary sex system male and female give rise to what is called compulsive heterosexuality. It refers to heterosexuality as a default sexual orientation and as an organizing principle within societies that privilege and normalize heterosexual relationships while discriminating against and discouraging all other sexual orientation and relationships. Hope you enjoyed this lecture. For more details, please read the e-text of this lecture properly and attempt the questions in the end. Thank you.